What's, What's up, up guys? guys? <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. What are we making today? We are making a black pepper bok choy tofu. Period. It's mostly his kind of recipe. He always makes this for me. And um, I'm just here for support. It's just something simple. Yeah. Really easy to whip up. Just Super easy. Just few ingredients and delicious. Mm. Me. I'm just here to assist you. All right, so, so let's get started. Cheers. Shout out to Chelitas. If y'all haven't tried this. Oh, me. Nice. They have so many different flavors and it's so freaking good on beers, white I claws. I don't know about that beer. <laughs> yeah, it tastes good to me. It tastes good she on drinks anything. It on everything. Mm -hmm. You can even put it on fruit, candy, anything you think it's gonna be good on, it's probably good on. Dip your fruit in it, that sounds good. But if y'all pick some up, make sure to use my code so you can save a little extra money off. Mm. If you guys have watched like previous videos and Snapchats and stuff, I cannot drink a White Claw without this. White Claws to me are disgusting. Unless you put some chamoy dip. So you can literally eat this with whatever you want. You can put it on like a bed of like noodles or like even those like crispy noodles. Like honestly anything. Or without, without even a base. Yeah, you could, but I feel like it needs something. So like obviously Asian, I need rice. But like I said, I'd eat it with noodles too, but rice is my first option. <laughs> I get one pack of tofu. I just cut like a slit in the top and the bottom and drain that. Whenever you're stir frying tofu, you want to make sure to use firm because otherwise it's going to like follow apart, follow. Oh. <laughs> fall apart and it just like crumbles and becomes mushy, but the firmer the tofu, it's almost like a meat in a way. Should I cut this? Um, not yet. Why, what are you gonna cut? No, because the next step is like, oh, you once you open like... it, you wanna okay. like kind of dry it, absorb like water so it fries better. So I use two shallots and you can cut those in strips. Strips. Here. I don't think I've ever cut a shallot before. This is like some fancy shit. When you're doing that, I will be chopping the ends off the baby bok choy. They come in a bundle of about 15 to 20. We like those because they're a little bit more um, tender, yeah? Yeah, I think they're a little more tender. I just cut like half inch off the bottom so it just breaks them up. Fun little story time. When I was growing up, my mom is a very, um, what do you call it? Like we're very like- Resourceful. Resourceful and DIY, we recycle. Like that's just my family and that's obviously carried on to like us too. But growing up, um, my mom would do like fun projects with us, like painting and stuff. And she would cut up bok choy. She would keep the stem on it and then we would use this as a rose or a flower stamp. So if you like dip it into like paint. Let me do the chamoy. Should I? Yeah. Yeah. Screw it. I don't care, y'all. I eat this. And I'd be eating this with fruit anyway. Okay, so we would go like this in paint and we would like dip. It might be a little too <laughs> thick. Yeah, it might be too thick, but let me just show you guys so you get the vibe. I don't know if this is gonna work. Uh, eh, no. But <laughs> basically we would use these to like paint little rose designs. If you look up close, it really looks like a rose. Okay, anyway, moving on. I've never actually helped him make this one yet, but I eat it every How are you time. Cut it those? I don't know why stir fries, I just feel have like more longer shaped cuts. So you definitely want to kind of keep the consistency throughout. Like just say you're gonna put in like uh, carrots or like any other vegetable, try and keep all of the shapes of your veggies the same relatively Just long similar. shape. I actually really like when he puts eggplant in it, but he forgot to get it at the store. So after that, we'll cut up the tofu into little like, I wanna say one inch blocks. Shallots are like known to be like a little less like pungent than an onion, right? Yeah, like it's like more they're subtle. A little more sweet and like not as they're more mild than yeah. the onion. We're gonna bring our pot in frame. We're already ready to cook. Yeah. Damn, it's that easy. All you're doing is like cutting up the three ingredients. Well, another ingredient that you would probably cut up is 
garlic. We have the crushed garlic that's frozen. All you do is like pop, pop these out, out of the freezer and they're ready to use. So those are so easy. We're just gonna add probably like three tablespoons of oil. We ended up getting this little gas grill gas grill because we're gonna film more cooking videos for you guys and we kind of want to be like very interactive and in front of the camera and like with you as we cook instead of last time where he was filming me film the fried rice video so while the oil is heating up i'm gonna add in one teaspoon of black pepper and half a teaspoon of garlic salt you put that in the oil yeah to get it fragrant like i've never done that before. I just learned something new. Okay, so this step is actually something we learned a few years ago and it changed our tofu cooking game because I always wondered how they got that crust, not deep fried, but just a crust on the tofu. And obviously, like we mentioned earlier, if you use firm tofu, it is gonna give you more of like that meaty taste. But if you put cornstarch over the tofu and kind of layer it, just like drizzle it on there and mix it up. So just try and give it an even coat. And we're gonna start frying. We're just giving it a nice fry. Get it crispy on all the edges. Mmm. I love tofu so much. All right, so once you have a nice crisp on your tofu, we will add the onions for, or not onions, the, Shallot. Shallot. Same or thing, onion. honestly. They all look the same. You could even do it with onion if you don't have shallot or if shallot's like hard to find. Yeah, I love onion, so I wouldn't mind doing with onions too. If your tofu absorbed all the oil, you can add a little bit of oil before you add the shallot. Like in the center, the little well trick. I did that in my last video. If you guys didn't watch my kimchi fried rice, I'll link it right here. I think it's on this corner. <laughs> Some of the tofus are like sticking together so you can just break them up. After like a minute or two, we can add in our garlic because the garlic cooks a lot faster. So we'll do this for another 30 seconds or a minute. It smells so good. Usually I don't I really like- to eat. I'm so hungry. Same. I usually don't like sitting too close, but I gotta wash my hair anyway. Now I'm adding the bok choy in. Give this like a nice toss. So we are adding in two tablespoons of cooking wine. Rice wine. Then two tablespoons of soy sauce. Show you. One teaspoon of maple syrup. Maple syrup? Yep. She Her? doesn't like sweet things. I don't like sweet things, but food. I don't taste sweet. Every time he makes this, it doesn't taste sweet. It's just good and this is about a quarter cup of vegetable broth this is the vegetable broth that he uses and i might as well show you guys what oh. maple syrup uses it's just like a normal brand if you guys can't hear us he said you can use any brand of your choice however this is the maple syrup that he uses. So next up, we have our mushroom sauce, which is a vegan alternative to oyster sauce. Probably one tablespoon. Just to let you guys know, it's really salty. So a little goes a long way. Thank you very much. And then we'll just let this stir, stir fry for fry a little for longer. Just like a little bit. Put the lid on. I'm actually really sad that we don't have eggplant in here, but where would you put the eggplant in? In what stuff? Um, After? No, no, before. Right before the bok choy. Okay, so you're gonna wanna put the eggplant That's in. That's when I put it in. It just depends on like yeah, when, honestly. You, when you like it, but I put it in because they're a little bit thicker Yeah. and like the bok choy is pretty thin. Yeah, it doesn't take a long time for this to cook. We're Less done. than five minutes. This is it. Everything is so simple. You basically just toss it all together and that's it. Wow, the rice came out perfect. 
All right, this is what it looks like. Nice and stir fried and- Yum, it smells so rice. good. Fresh bowl of steamed jasmine rice. We love jasmine rice. I actually and... just bought more rice. The brand I use is Three Ladies. Should we cut a green onion on it too? Yeah. Okay, I just grabbed a little stem from our little personal plant. So I'm just going to cut a few pieces for like flavor and garnish. And to finish it off, we sprinkle a little toasted black sesame seeds. Hold on, let me give you a really good look at this. Wow. A little taste test. So the whole thing took like what? Mm, 15 minutes maybe? Probably. Like but if we're not talking and stuff? A little bit longer with the cutting. I feel like I need shoyu from a rice. We call shoyu soy sauce in Hawaii. We call soy sauce shoyu in Hawaii. If you want a little spice, you can add sriracha on top mm -hmm. also. I like putting sriracha on it, but honestly, it tastes good like this too. This is one of my favorite, just like simple, few ingredients. Like vegan. Vegan. Obviously, if you're not vegan, you can put some thinly sliced beef strips in there or whatever you want, but Eldon does not uh, condone. No, I just don't consume meat. <laughs> it's fine. I'm weak. I'm sorry, okay? I'd, I'd suggest just doing a little bit more plant-based diet. Mm -hmm. This is so good. Like... Honestly, if you're a meat eater and you eat good meals like this, home cooked, vegan meals, you won't even like realize that there's no meat in it. It's just that good. So we're going back home to Hawaii in three, three three days. days. And this is gonna be his first time home being vegan. And if you guys know, coming from Hawaii, we eat a lot of meat, but not just meat, like, Good meat. <laughs> I hate saying that because I feel so bad at the same time, but we just make such good food and meals back home in Hawaii. Like, that's why I can't. But you can. I can, but I can't. I honestly do feel bad because I know he's gonna like see the food and miss it and wanna eat it, but at the same time, he knows in his heart that he can do without it. He's strong. But yeah, don't you think mushrooms would be so good in here? Yeah, mushrooms. Like white mushrooms or shiitake mushrooms? Yeah. I would say this is like the really, really easy way when you don't have a lot of time or a lot of ingredients and you just wanna throw together a quick stir fry. This is super good. But this just goes to show for the people that say they can't cook. Or, vegan, that, or that it's expensive. Or that it's expensive. This is like very inexpensive and super, super easy. How much do you think roughly would this like cost? Well, not including like the sauces and condiments. Just the basis of it mm -hmm. is gonna be like $10. $10? Yeah. And you guys see how much we have left over. So we'll definitely have like lunch or dinner tomorrow. But let us know if you guys make this, how it turns out, if you guys like it, and what you guys wanna see us cook next. Mmm. So good. Are you rating it? Mmm. I rate this 10 out of 10. No, tonight eight out of 10. Because it'll be way better with eggplant. That would make it a 10 out of 10 for me. Well, I guess that's it for this video. We really appreciate you guys taking your time to join us tonight and watch us cook our very first cooking tutorial together, I guess. If you guys want us to try any vegan restaurants or have any vegan meals in mind that you want to see us cook, because obviously we have to cook vegan together, um, let us know in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up if you guys like these cooking videos and yeah, don't forget to subscribe before you leave and turn on our notifications so that you know when our next video goes live. Thank you again for watching. We love you guys so, so much and we'll see you in the next one. Period. Bye.